should you sell your knowledge or should you just give it for free now guys before we get to this video make sure that you subscribe to my channel okay so every time when i release a brand new video you can be notified all right guys i picked up a video on the internet from my mentor and business partner his name is anthony morrison okay i picked up a video that he posted a long time ago that talks about if you should actually sell your knowledge or if you should just give your knowledge for free okay i love the video and i, I and i'm bringing it on the on the channel right now so i can just bring as much content as i can guys so enough talk let's get straight to the video all right and i think that um i think that you know a lot of people think uh information should be free right and implementation should cost money meaning i should teach you everything for free everything give you all my knowledge completely free um but then if you want me to help you implement it i should charge you then there's other people that say no no knowledge should not be free you should pay for it i have this knowledge um it's a great thing and if you want it you're gonna have to pay for it and if you want me to help you implement it you still got to pay for that too right and i'll be honest with you um me personally i believe that you can find a mixture of both i believe you can give enough information to people um, for free to help them decide and determine if the paid information is really good for them right is it really something they should do is it really something that will benefit them right so i don't condone selling something to somebody who isn't ready for the something that they bought I believe that there should be uh, that there should be a pathway to sales. You should give away something for free. Like for instance, in almost everything we do, we give away a free ebook. Um, there's not a ton to this ebook, but it gives kind of a preface of what we're going to sell, so you can determine if you think it's for you or not. Right? It's not like you got to spend money to figure out if it's even something in the realm of reality for you. Um, so I do think that there's a place for giving away uh, some knowledge for free, but not all of it. I heard a lot of people ranting and raving and yelling about how you shouldn't sell a course and everything is free and anything in a course you can find on uh, on the internet for free. Well, let me just tell you something right now. There aren't you know people making millions because they've they've Googled enough information. Okay, a lot of times it's assimilation of the information. It's the structure that you pay for. Why do we go to school? Why 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 do you pay a college tuition? Think about that. It costs money. It's not free. Now they said, oh, you can't compare the two. Absolutely, you can compare the two. All of the information that you learn in college, you can learn on Google. If you Google, you know, trigonometry, you can literally take classes, go through, watch free YouTube videos of trigonometry all day long. If you Google uh, physics, if you look at organic chemistry, all of this stuff is taught online for free. All of this information is free. You know what kills me? You go to, you go to college and you pay, you pay your hard earned money to learn English. You've been speaking English for 18, 19, 20 years before you get to college and you got to spend money to learn English. That's crazy to me. That's insane, right? But we do it and we don't question it. College isn't free. I really love the idea of when Anthony talks about school. You know that? The reason is because, guys, he's telling the truth. You can actually find anything on the internet today whatever you go to school for you can find it for free on the internet because the the internet is unstoppable okay we live in a digital era this is a digital age okay where the internet is growing every single day all right now guys look don't get in your feeling i'm i'm just gonna tell you something so i want you to put a good thing what about uh, what i'm about to say here and listen pretty carefully which route is better you going for four getting a bachelor degree or maybe six you know we're getting a master degree or eight years of school school to get a phd okay to get a bunch of student loan debt a hundred thousands of dollars of student loan debt after you finish school and then after that you have to pay for it for the rest of your life 
or the other route where you can literally just spend a thousand dollar or even just two thousand dollar one time on a real estate course or a real estate program or an affiliate marketing program that can teach you a side hustle that can potentially make you millions or millions of dollars in the next three four five or six months which one which route is better you tell me i want you to think about that because i think a lot of people don't critical think when it comes to this there's no critical thinking which route is better you tell me i'm not gonna answer that for you but you can see where i'm coming from here because i know a lot of people like to, be, to, to, to think like everything out there online is a scam but i want you to critical think you like think about it which one is better would you rather take a hundred thousands of student loan debt go for eight years of school getting a phd and then for for your for the rest of your life you're just paying loan after loan after loan or would you rather build a side hustle take an online program that probably only costs you just a thousand bucks one time not a hundred k not a hundred thousand of loan that you have to that you have to pay for the rest of your life probably just a thousand bucks to learn real estate or crypto or affiliate marketing or drop shipping or e-commerce or email marketing like a high income skill that you can actually provide value to the marketplace you tell me which one is better you see this one you go it's short a high when you're building a high income skill you can literally start making 10k 20 30 40 in a short amount of time rather than you going for eight years of school taking all the student loan debt and then you're making 100 100k to 200k if you want to be maybe a, a, a software engineer maybe 100k or a doctor maybe 200k a year but with the high income skill you can make whatever a doctor make in such a short amount of time and as fast as possible and you can even make more than what, uh, what a medical doctor or what else uh, an engineer can make in a year and you can even make what an engineer or doctor makes in a single month in the next six four because you've built a side hustle so you show me which one is better and let, let me guys just tell you this so you can a little bit start thinking a little bit outside the box i want to take you out of your comfort zone okay pay close attention let me just say this i'm gonna put it out there and i'm gonna and then we're gonna go back to the video let me say this traditional education meaning that you know you you'll be you becoming a medical doctor or you uh, uh or you going to, to become a, a software engineer whatever that may be or a lawyer whatever that may be that will pay your bills okay but self-education will make you a fortune i'm not gonna I'm, I'm just gonna put it out there okay okay again let me repeat that now i know some of you might be thinking but just tell nonsense you know you can also become successful by actually having a high-end career like engineer true okay true i'm not saying that you can't you can still build you know from a engineering job or or like you know becoming a doctor whatever you can still build your life and become a millionaire doing it you know if you're investing with that money and stuff like that i get that okay but that's not what i'm talking about right now because i know what you're thinking you're probably thinking about you're wrong just tell you can still you know make 200k as a medical doctor and still build uh, still make a million dollars that's true if you're saving and stuff like that you're investing that money and stuff because you're making uh, because you're making six figure a year with a high-end career i get where you're coming from here if you're already thinking like that i get that but that's not what i'm talking about i'm just talking about the 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 the, the fastest route here okay like which which one is faster does it make sense like which one can you get to that certain income as fast as possible that's what i'm trying to get to you here you guys see what i'm saying so let's get to the video and i'm not going to continue to talk but i just want you to think about that okay a little bit in our society knowledge costs money it just simply doesn't matter what type of knowledge whether it's high school college trade schools courses whatever Knowledge costs money, right? And there's a reason for it. Number one, the person has taken the time to structure it. In college, they structure all of the education you're going to get, and they structure it in a way that they know is going to be best received by you. It's going to give you the best chance to receive the information, understand the information, implement the information, and honestly, truly learn what it is that you've been taught. That's what you pay for. You pay for that and you pay for access to somebody to ask questions to. 
right? Maybe sometimes. And it works. And the same thing happens with courses, online courses. Should you sell your knowledge or should you give it away for free? You should sell it. Because if you take the time to assimilate that, put it in a structure and teach people how to do something, there's value in that, right? There's value in it, absolutely. And you can argue it all day long, but the fact of the matter is, when you assimilate information in a way that people can consume it properly, it leads to more success. And the second reason is, is because when you give people something for free, most of the time they don't use it. It's just part of life. It's human nature, right? It is truly human nature. How many times have you been given a free coupon and not used it? Think about that. And I know if you're listening to this, I know for a fact you've done it. Somebody gave you a free coupon, $10 off, and you never used it. It sat on your kitchen counter. It wasn't a priority. But I guarantee you, if you paid for a coupon book, right? Remember those old school? I don't know if they still do this anymore, but if you paid for a book of coupons and you spent five or six bucks on that book of coupons, I guarantee you, next time you leave the house, you're going to look, make sure there's no coupons for where you're going because you put out some money for it, for access. See what I'm saying? When you give away free courses, you almost do an injustice to the people that you're giving it away to because ultimately they're not going to go through it. They're not going to use it. They're not going to pay attention to it. They have no skin in the game. They have no investment. They have no commitment. And without that commitment, they won't learn. And without learning, they'll never succeed at whatever it is that you're trying to teach them. Now, look, I'm about to say something right now that might not sound popular, but look, you know, when you give some somebody something for free, okay just like anthony said that they don't want to do nothing they don't want to put in the work that's fact okay and i'm also going to give you another example you see when you go to uh, go go to school you know when you take classes okay let's say you're taking like a chemistry class let's say that class is about 500 bucks right okay you t in college just as an example you're given homework by your uh, for from your teacher you know that you have to do those homework. You know that you have to go, uh, go to sleep late. You put in the work. Why? Because you know you're spending money for these classes. You're not just going to do nothing on the homework. You're putting your hard work on it, your soul. You're working on those homework like I have to get the homework done, get it done and stuff that, and give it back to more to the teacher. But also, you are also aware in your conscious that you're paying for these classes. They're not free period you see so in my personal opinion you should sell courses you should sell your knowledge knowledge should not be free however you can blend this for instance we sell all of our courses but once we get someone somebody buys from us we provide a lot of knowledge for free we do a weekly uh, webinar actually do two weekly webinars with my students every single week now completely free all free knowledge. So I think you have to understand selling knowledge actually helps the consumer. It helps the customer, right? So if you're sitting there and you want to build a digital course, you want to be a coach, you want to be a consultant, you've been thinking, ah, I just don't know if I can sell my information. You can, and you should, and it's okay to do it. There's nothing wrong with it. You know something that's going to help somebody. You know something that's going to help somebody solve a problem. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with sharing that with them. And there's nothing wrong with charging for it, right? Why do we pay attorneys? Uh, their knowledge? That's literally it. So should they just be giving it out for free all over the world? No, they shouldn't. They're literally, it's just knowledge, that's it. Nothing else, there's no like real work. It's just their knowledge, but we pay for it. If you're stuck in this rut, I'm wondering, should you sell your knowledge let me be the first person to give you permission to sell your knowledge right as long as when you sell that knowledge you're there for those people that have purchased it from you 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 know you, you're there for them you show up for them like they showed up for you and that's the most important part in the knowledge business if you're going to be in, in in the business of coaching consulting training uh selling courses you got to show up for the people that show up for you they show up by taking out their wallet and their credit card 
and buying your course and your information. You got to show up for them by giving them access, by educating, and by, by doing the very best that you can to help them solve the problem that they bought your information to solve, right? As long as you show up for them, then there is absolutely nothing wrong with selling knowledge. So, you know, look, we get a lot of emails. I, I come up with a lot of topics for our podcast based on those emails. This is one that I had a big conversation, like I said, with over a thousand people. And, um, and it was interesting to see the points of view. But ultimately, at the end of the day, uh, knowledge is not free. The assimilation of knowledge is not free. The structure of knowledge is not free. And you should feel perfectly fine selling your information. So I know that there are a lot of people that listen to my podcast uh, that are course creators, you know, or you're getting ready to create a course or, or consulting or, or coaching. And I want to give you permission right now to sell your knowledge, help people, help people solve problems, and uh, ultimately make the world a better place. So guys, I hope you enjoy the content, okay? If you did, put a thumbs up. If you didn't like the content at all, you hate this content, put a thumbs down, okay? And, and comment down below and tell me what you thought about the content, all right? If you're still here, I'm glad that you're still here. Now, before I go, here's what I, I just want to leave you with. If you, okay, I'm talking to you. If you are interested in making money online, okay, you want to start an online business, you want to build a side hustle, that's your goal. You want to have financial freedom, you want to be your own boss, you want to one day have a laptop lifestyle, all right? That is your goal someday, okay? The, the, there's a link that I put down in my YouTube description down below. Click on that link, put your email address, I'm going to send you a free training that Anthony Morrison himself is doing. So it's basically a program, the program that Anthony, that I'm promoting from Anthony himself as an affiliate. Me, I'm promoting that program to you. So watch that free training. The free training is about 14 minutes, okay? Watch the entire free training and from there you yourself can decide if this if you would like to work with us or not okay so anthony you know anthony is going to be hosting the free training okay anthony himself the mentor that you guys just saw throughout this whole video he's going to be hosting that training okay you're going to watch you, you, you you're going to receive the email from me all right so it's a free training guys just watch the entire free training it's a 14 minute free training if you guys are interested in working with me and anthony like I said before, he's my business partner. So I'm basically promoting his affiliate program, it, you know, as an affiliate, if that makes sense what I'm saying. So only if you are interested, okay? If you are not interested, I'm sorry to break it to you. Don't even bother putting your email. I'm sorry. I'm not going to sit here and tell you, no. If you are interested, if you're not interested, there's no hard feeling. But if you are interested, then put your email down below and I'll send you the 14-minute training. Now, here's the thing. Here's what I'm just going to put as a disclaimer. If you are going to literally purchase this free training, okay, after you watch your free training, and then if you make a buying decision, if you end up buying, I'm going to earn a commission as an affiliate through you. Does that make sense? And here's what I want you to, uh, want you to know. Do not, let me just say this, get into this program thinking it's going to get, it's, it's going to be a get rich quick stuff, okay? If that's what you're thinking, go find somebody else. I'm already telling you that because... I don't like to go around around the bushes. I tell you that I tell you that straight. This isn't the channel for you because this channel will teach you how to build a real business. Building a side hustle, yes, it works. Making money online does work, yes. Okay. Affiliate marketing does work, yes, but it's gonna take work. Okay. If you're not willing to even go for six, seven, eight months and make sacrifices to make this business work, I'm sorry to break it to you. Forget it. Okay. This is only for people who are willing to put in the work, for people who are willing to actually work on this and actually make the sacrifices that, it, that, that is needed to be successful, okay? And there's no free stuff. There's no easy stuff in this world. Whatever you want to do in this world, I don't care what it is. You're going to have to put in the work. And I might, and I know some of you are already thinking, just tell her, you're selling me something. Okay, then don't, don't put your email. I'm sorry, but th I'm just going to have to be honest. I love you enough to tell you that. And I know it might sound harsh my tongue, but that's just how I speak. And I like to be honest and I'm really, it's because I love you. And I want you to understand that before you make any buying decision, what you're getting yourself into, this is going to take work. It's not going to be one day and then, oh, you click a button, you made a million bucks. That's not happening. I'm sorry to break it to you, but it isn't. This is going to take work. Meaning that if you have to stay focused for the next six, seven, eight, nine months, I would even, even a year, I'll tell you that. Okay. 
but if you stay focused you walk you walk on in you stay focused i guarantee you in the next six months you will succeed but if you're not willing to put in the work if you don't have a work ethic this isn't for you but if you do you know then you know go right ahead i love you guys enough i love you guys enough and i'll see you guys inside the free training all right